Hi everyone, it's Cyril or Lovely Day here with another video. Today I'm going to be doing Teeny Tinkers Faves and Features tag. Which, by the way, if you are unfamiliar with Teeny Tinkers, you should definitely go check them out after this video. I'll leave a link to their original video down below. There are eight questions in this tag, so let's just get right on with it. Question, or rather category number one, is doll companies. So yeah, less of a question and more of a category for me to talk to. So I'm gonna list a few companies that I personally really like. Some of them I own dolls of and others I don't. The first company I'm going to mention is one that I often get asked about because of Ava right here. In case you don't know, Ava is in fact a hybrid BJD. That means her head and her body are both made from different companies. Her head is a Comey Baby Doll Peridot. Now the company is Comey Baby Doll. I feel like they're not super well known, so I figured I would put them on this list. For no other reason other than just the fact that Ava is so incredibly cute and I love her for it. She is my exception to the MSD rule and she is just adorable. The next company on my list is Resin Soul, and if you are familiar with my dolls and my crew, you will know that I have a Resin Soul doll, and that is Millie here. Millie was my second ever BJD. She is my oldest and longest standing doll that I currently own, and she is awesome. Resin Soul have somewhat of a reputation of being a cheaper company, which is not a bad thing by any means, although some people will try and tell you that that makes them lesser in some way, which is stupid because they're freaking amazing and just, just look at her. <laughs> what more do I need to say? Sure, they've got a unique aesthetic where their faces and everything tend to be longer. I mean, case point. <laughs> but they are gorgeous dolls and I really think they deserve all of the love. I'm quite possibly cheating by mentioning so many companies, but there is one more that I do own that I want to mention, and that is Little Rebel Doll. I only own this head here from them. They're not so much as a BJD company, but more so a small artist, but their dolls are amazing, and I am so happy to own this fella here, and I cannot wait to get him a body. Trust me, I am looking into it, I am working on it. It will happen at some point, but... In the meantime, even just as a head, he is beautiful. And I know it sounded like I was done, but there is one more doll company I want to mention. And that is Rumpel Doll. Now, I don't own a Rumpel Doll doll yet. However, I keep a very close eye on them and their work because I just... I love their work. <laughs> it is gorgeous, okay? They might just be what makes me break my rule on only SD sized dolls and even like going past MSD sized dolls and getting something smaller because their cuties Abby and Jade are just too adorable for their own good. So at some point I'm going to find a way of getting one because they're just too cute. Category number two is wig brands. The first maker I'm going to mention actually made Ellen's wig. The maker goes by the name by Captain Panda over on Etsy. What's cool about their wigs is that they are made out of Angora wool and they have a soft wig cap with an elastic fibre around the base of it, which does wonders for making sure this thing stays on, especially in Alan's case since he is a vinyl doll and his head cap is quite squishy and to put a hard wig cap on a vinyl doll it doesn't work as well as it does on a resin doll. So I was looking for someone who made a soft cap with an elastic band around the bottom and by Captain Panda delivered and it is amazing. Their customer service was just top notch. The turnaround time for the wig was very reasonable too and this of course was a custom order. Due to an error on my end the size of the wig cap did end up being a little bit small and that was just because I didn't actually have this doll yet so I wasn't sure of the size exactly. However, due to the nature of the wig cap, I'm still able to get it on him. It's not going to go anywhere <laughs> and I'm still really happy with it. I definitely think that I'm going to go back to them at some point to get at least one more. Maybe I'll get Ellen an alternate wig that is a bit longer. The sky's the limit, or rather my wallet, but um, yeah, I definitely will be going back to them at some point. Another wig maker I'm going to mention is Belichick's Doll World. If you are able to get one, mind you, they are in very high demand. 
Their alpaca wigs are gorgeous. I've owned a couple in my time in the hobby and they are stunning. I also love Miss Meischke's wigs. I own a few, Ava's being one of them. Although I don't think they make custom commissions anymore. Last I heard they have been making pre-made wigs so if that's something you're into then definitely check them out as well. Category number three is clothes makers. Now if you know me and you know my channel you probably already have an idea of who I'm going to mention here but it is Mabinjo and Cherry Dolls Boutique. Most of the clothes I own are from either of those two places. They are amazing and I would recommend them to anyone. Category number four is face-up artists. Now with the exception of Lee, Ava and Rachel and well obviously the vinyl dolls too although I did add some things to this guy's face up. All of my dolls have face ups that have been done by me and I'm realizing now that I actually named quite a few so I guess I do have a few with face ups not done by me but I digress. Most of those are company face ups with the exception of Lee. His was done by Angel Toast and that was done by his previous owner before I had him. But anyway, for sake of me answering this question, since I haven't really been one to commission face ups from anyone myself personally, I don't think I'm the best to answer this question. However, there are a couple of face-up artists that I follow quite closely over on Instagram, so I figured I'd give them a bit of a shout out here. The first one I'm going to mention is The Ugliest Wife. You'll be able to find their work over on Instagram. It is gorgeous. I have actually had the pleasure of seeing some of their work in person. Valerie, my friend who actually sat here on this couch with me to do a tag video a while back, she owns some dolls who have got face-ups from The Ugliest Wife. Yeah, I have seen firsthand just how gorgeous they are. The second face-up artist that I'm going to mention is Mint Chateau. Mint Chateau does amazing detail and texturing work. And for me personally, they are goals. Like, if I could do a face-up as half as decently as they could, I would be happy. But yeah, that's really all I feel I can say about that category. So let's move on to the next one, which is, in fact, BJD YouTubers. Now the point of this one is to obviously shout out different creators that I watch here on YouTube. And there are a lot, okay? There are quite a lot of people I watch on YouTube and I'm always on the lookout for new people. It's great. This question is honestly what drove me to do this tag because I have been meaning for the longest time to do a video where I compile a list of all of the BJD YouTubers I watch and include some clips of the type of videos they make, pictures, all that sort of stuff, make it a grand feature, fun time. But needless to say, I have not gotten around to doing that yet. I did actually start trying to do it the other day, but it's quite a big task for what I want to do. So in the meantime, I figured I would use this tag as a way to mention a bunch of different BJD YouTubers and I'll link them all down below, of course. And here's hoping you guys watching will be able to find at least one new person to watch. So I've got a list here on my phone. It's in alphabetical order. I'm gonna go through it as quick as I can. There are a few here, okay. I may have gone a bit overboard when I made this list. I am definitely cheating, Teeny Tinkers. I am so sorry. In saying that though, this is definitely not a complete list of all of the BJD YouTubers I watch, but please don't be offended if you are not on this list. Also, disclaimer, I'm definitely going to say more than one of these names wrong. Please don't hold it against me. <laughs> so starting at the top of the list, we have Absolute Fiend, Adele BJD, Alice Elisa Arisu, Ame and her BJDs, Arela, Asenva BJD, Camster95, Cassie Bliss BJD, Christine C, Dolphy Dreamer, DX Girly Likes BJDs, Filmaholic, Idols, Jaffa Cakes Journey BJD Adventures, Jetsu Lamb, J Amazing, Kiwi Namori BJD, Lady Bacha, Lomi's Playground, Megs and Deba, Monika's Poopers and Dolls, definitely said that one wrong, oh gosh, Miss Kitty Blue, Octo Pudding, One Clay, Pinot Noir Ice Cream Bar, Pocket Wolf, Rabid Bunnies, Wrens, Resin Junkie, Resin Melody, SDR Cow, Sea Hedgehog, Shizu-san, Sight Hound Lady, Somi Animations, Sophie Jet, Spore, we'll eat for free, Studio Miscast, Summerbird BJD, Teeny Tinkers, The Folktale Fox, The Doll Fairy, and Yasmin BJD. 
And if you didn't discover any new channels from that list, then I'm not sure I can help you, honestly. I'll leave links to all of these channels down below, so definitely go and check them out. And if you would like to see a more in-depth feature video from me in regards to other BJD and doll YouTube channels, then please let me know and I will just get my butt into action and do it. <laughs> The next category on the list is BJD Instagram accounts, and I have four. The first one is Luluisa. I'll put some examples of the sort of images they post here, and as you can see, they are just amazing. Pictures speak more than words. The next one is Editaro, who has an Angel Philia doll. As far as I'm aware, that's what it is. But the reason I love their photos is because they pose their doll, which is set up to look like a mini-me. The photos are just incredible. I love them, and I'm sure you will agree with me once you see them. The third account, I'm realizing now, I have never attempted to say this word out loud, and I do not know how the heck to say it, but it's... Will I... Will I chan? Well, I don't even know. I'll put it here. Their pictures are great. Enough said. <laughs> And last, but definitely not least, the account that would be rude for me not to mention because they are hands down one of my favourite ever, and I know other people have mentioned them too, but that wasn't a good enough reason for me not to mention them, that is Pink Tesca. The owner of the most incredible dioramas ever, an inspiration to everyone in the hobby I'm sure, their account is just amazing. Section number seven is dolls owned by me. As much as I want to say that I don't have favourites, it really is a lie. I do have a favourite. It's become more and more obvious to me recently when I've been feeling a bit down and I just gravitate to this doll time and time again to just hang out with and hold and hug and just have next to me to make me feel better. That's this guy. That's Lee. He is just... he's my favourite. What can I say? I'm not sure exactly what it is about him. It's possibly due to the fact that as a character, he is the most developed. He's also hands down the heaviest, which I guess would make him more comforting to hold because he's more substantial. I don't know, maybe that has something to do with it, but yeah, that's my answer for that question. Last but definitely not least, category number eight is favorite dolls owned by other people. The first doll that comes to mind for me is Mirror's Edge Faith's Dolce Erica. Now, they are stunning. As a matter of fact, that was the doll that made me fall in love with the Dolce Erica sculpt and is what ultimately led me to order one myself earlier in the year. The next doll I'm going to mention is actually owned by my friend Valerie, and that is their Merry Doll Round Fang, Frankie. And that was a mouthful. I had to do a few takes for that one, but I got there. And actually, now I'm saying that, also their Momonita bow, because seeing those two in person has just given me a need, okay? They are amazing. And the last doll owned by someone else that I'm going to mention, or actually, dolls. <laughs> it's all of Sighthound Lady's twigglings because need I say more? And that brings us to the end of this tag. Thank you again to Teeny Tinkers for making this tag video. I really enjoyed answering all of the questions and I cannot wait to see more people answer them. If you guys enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me what you think. If you're not already subscribed I would love it if you joined me here. I upload a new video every weekend. Thank you so much for watching, it has been lovely, and I'll catch you in another video sometime soon.